Warning. This video is intended to provide a solution to the problem that many QGIS users encounter when they are using this GIS software and wants to work with shape files stored in the MySQL database, and don't know how to store them in this application. The solution presented works on the PC where it was tried, an Intel i7 with 12 GB of RAM and Windows 10 64-bit, this does not mean that it works on your PC. If you want to try the solution presented in this video on your PC, this is your responsibility and we will not be responsible for any problems that may occur. Hello to everyone. Is it possible for a user to store a shapefile in the MySQL database 8.x by using the MySQL workbench? Yes, it is possible, and it is a very easy task to perform because the workbench, version 8, have a tool incorporated to do this task. The tool is named Load Spatial Data. This tool is not quite new in this application because it already existed in the version 5.3. But I never got it working in this previous version, because a bug, but, in the latest version the tool works very well. However, there is some important details that the user must pay close attention to be successful when using this tool. The two details most important are, the character set of the attribute table from the shape file, that must match with the character set that the MySQL database are using. And the most important of all, it's to use the correct spatial reference system or coordinate reference system in the shape file. If the user uses the correct parameters to accomplish those two details, the task is performed in only few seconds or minutes, depending on the capacity of your PC. So, in this video we will show you how to achieve with successful this task. Let's see, step by step, how to accomplish the task. First step. Open the QGIS and prepare the shape file that you want to store in the MySQL database. In the QGIS, click in Add Vector Layer and open the shape file that you want to store in the MySQL database. As example, I will use the Vectorial Cartographic Base of Portugal, built by the Portuguese Cartographic Agency with the designation Direção Geral do Território. When you open the shape file, don't forget to use the correct character set in the encoding for the attribute table. In this particular case it's the UTF-8. As you can see, this shape file was built with the Portuguese reference coordinate system, the EPSG. 3763. If I try to import this shape file directly to the MySQL database with the Portuguese projection by using the load spatial data tool that exists in the workbench, I will get an error and I will not be able to import and store it in MySQL database. This happens, because the version 8, of MySQL, is more demanding with the projections used in the spatial tables. I've done a lot of experiments and attempts, using several different projections and I only had success when I used the EPSG 3857, referring to the projection WGS84 Pseudomercator. So, to have succeed in the storage task of the shapefile in MySQL database, I must to save a new version of this shapefile, with the projection EPSG, 3857. At the same time, 
I will save the shape file with the same character set that the MySQL on my PC uses, which I know is the UTF-8. So, in layers I select the shape file that I intend to prepare to be stored in MySQL database. By keeping the cursor over the layer, I click in the button on the right side of the mouse and in the options window that opens, I click export and then, in save features as. In the next window, under format I keep the ESRI shape file option. In file name, I assign a new name to the shape file and I select the folder where I want to save it. In CRS, I change to EPSG, 3857. In encoding, I change to UTF-8. In select fields to export I select the fields I intend to export with the new shape file. The remaining options, I can leave the suggested by the application. To finish, I click in OK and await the completion of the export. When the task ends, I can close the QGIS. At this moment, I have a new shape file prepared to be stored in the MySQL database, because it already fulfills the two parameters needed to obtain a successful import. Second step, how to use the load spatial data tool in the workbench. Open the MySQL Workbench 8 and enter in your local instance. On the navigator panel, in schema select the one where you store your space tables. In this exercise, the schema has the name Cardo DB. You can create and use your own schema. Put the mouse cursor over the name of your schema and click the button on the right side of the mouse and in the options window that opens, selects load spatial data. In the window that opens, you will be able to use in a friendly way, the OGR2 OGR tool that exists in the GDAL application. This tool is installed when you install the MySQL Workbench. In this first window, in File Path, 
I click on browse and I will search for and select the shape file that I intend to store in the MySQL database. I will select the shape file that I prepared in the previous step. If you are tuned, you will notice that this application will check if the shape file has the files DBF, which includes the shape file attribute table, and the PRJ, which includes the line of code relating to the spatial reference system of the shape file, and also, it will check if the tools OGR2, OGR and OGRINFO which allows the import task are present. If it's everything OK, I'll click Next. In the next window, in Destination Table I can keep the suggested name for the table that it will take on the database, or else, I can assign a new name to the table. In Select the columns you want to import, I have the option where I can select the fields in the attribute table that I intend to import into the database with the shape file. In this example, I will keep all of them. In additional options, is at the criteria of the user what they wish to activate. I'll leave as suggested and I click on Next. In the next window, I have to re-click Next to run the import task. Then, you control the green bar and wait for the task to finish. The delay time of performing the task depends on the size of the shape file. When the green bar reaches the 100%, to move forward, I click again on next and then in finish, and the import process is ended. Returning to the navigator panel, in schemas, I click on refresh and now, I can see the spatial table that I have imported to the database. If I click Open Table I can verify if everything is fine with the contents of the table. Notice the new fields that were created in the table. It's the OGR underscore fit and it's a control field to take on the indexes not null and unique, and the shape, which stores all the geometries of the shape file. Third step. Confirm if the shape file works properly in the QGIS. Open the QGIS and create a new project. Then, click Add Vector Layer and under Source Type select Database. In the encoding select UTF-8. Then select your MySQL connection. Forward, click open and in the window that opens, select the table that you have imported to the MySQL database in the previous step and click OK. As you can see, the geometries of the shape file are all available in the map canvas.
and if you open the attribute table, you will check that it's everything correct with the data of the shape file. To check and confirm if everything is working properly, I will add a new geometry to this shape file. To do so, I click on toggle editing, and then I add a geometry and I click on save layer edits. If all is working well, the change made will be recorded in milliseconds in the MySQL database. To reset to the original table, I'm going to erase the geometry I just added and then save the change. From here, all changes made to this shape file will be recorded directly in the MySQL database. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, do not forget to click like and subscribe the channel.